I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. What are you going to do? I don't know. We can't grass him up. It's Kirky, your old mate, compadres. Not no more, we're not. Norris? Is that right, what I've just read in the paper book? Well, how can I possibly say? That I... Les Battersby owes us £25 since before we cancelled his order. Oh, that. I thought debt collecting was your favourite part of the job. Well, it, it, it is usually. You're not scared of him, are you? No, no, no. It's, it's that dreadful woman. Scared of Scylla? Well, not scared, no, but she, 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 she makes me feel, like, uh, uncomfortable. Don't be so pathetic. Get over there and get what we're owed, or I'll make you feel uncomfortable. Ten minutes early. You must be clocking on someone else. You know, the reason I love coming to work is because I know that it ruins your whole day. Yeah, well, not for much longer. Why, what are you going to do? Baldwin does the hiring of Viren. You're his gopher. Yeah, but he goes on holiday for a fortnight this afternoon. And I'll be in charge of everything. <laughs> um, um, I, I'm here to address the issue of your pet, Bill Arias. Hey! Stop that, you dirty old dog. You're at it again. What? You know, you perv. Ogling. I can assure you. I... Let's get out here. Look, I'm here in a purely professional capacity. <laughs> There's no pure about it. What's going on? Him copping an eyeful. You what? You looking at my bird? I, I was doing no such thing. I'm just here to collect a debt. You'll be collecting something else if you're not careful, goddess. Oh, that this is outrageous. Are you listening? Clear off. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get Jace to put one of these on your finger? <laughs> I think it's a tad too early for that, Fizz, don't you? Is that supposed to be that tight? Yeah. I mean, it's got to be tight, hasn't it? I mean, you don't want to lose it. Yeah, but, Kirk, I can't even turn it. That's how you're supposed to wear them. No, it ain't. A finger's going blue. Well, it's about to take a few days to get used to. It's new. Kirk, wear that for a few days and your finger would drop off. Yeah, maybe I should get it out. No. Yeah, of course you should. Look, just take it back to the shop where you bought it from. They'll do it for free. They said they wouldn't. Yeah, of course they will. We can take it back this afternoon, can't we, after work? There you go, my little sweet pea, a nice cup of tea. When Doris came round to go up at your chest, did he say about starting our paper delivery up again? No. And we wouldn't let him deliver if they wanted to. We're boycotting them. I've got to have my paper. Get it somewhere else. The next nearest shop's miles away, nearly five minutes' walk. Stop complaining. You want to go on holiday, don't you? I'll get your paper. Yeah. For a fiver. A fiver? You little rubber. You said it yourself, it's miles away. Well, I'm not paying that. I'd rather read a book. Or I'll get it from across the road if you give me a quid. And I can keep the change. Deal. Here. And remember, when was the word? It won't be the word if she finds out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I've got you back. I'm going to have to tear myself away. I'm late. I'll grab you later, Mr. Lover Man. <laughs> oh, get lost, Tyrone. See yourself on telly last night, eh? You what? I saw you. On TV. Serious? I were on the telly? That's... What was I doing? Well, I'll give you a clue. It started with, have you seen this man? And it ended offering a reward for information. What makes you think you were me? I don't know. Just reminded me of you. The walk, the hair, the leather jacket, stealing an engagement ring. You're going to dub me in? Might do, but only after I've made you sweat for a bit. <laughs> I don't see what she can possibly do to make you so jittery. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not divulge that, Rita, thank you. I could always go across and ask him myself. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. It, look, if, if you must know, she, she accuses me of staring at her decolletage. Hey, what? You know. No, what? Her cleavage. I mean, it's ridiculous, as if I'd ever do anything like that. Well, no, you wouldn't. I mean, I, the one thing I do have is a sense of propriety, mm -hmm. and it isn't as if she's got anything to notice anyway. You had noticed them. Oh, don't you start. Hey, hey, what, what are you doing in here? Shall, shall I throw him out? 
You in whose armour? No, leave him. Why aren't you at school? Getting over a serious injury, aren't I? Put this on paper, Bill. Hey, don't ask for credit, cos refusal often offends. Worth a try. No, are you sure I'm serving him? Yeah, go ahead. Are you staring at See ya, crumblies. Man, you don't slip on the floor. Cheek of that kid. I almost wish I'd given him a proper clout round the ear now. Oh, that's a relief. What? We well, couldn't relate this morning. I thought I might have blown it for all the time next week. I thought that'd be Nick if it's still on. Hey, how come you're not doing it, Jan? I am. Do you know your name's not on the list? You are. I saw that. I thought you changed your mind. No, I haven't changed my mind. Everybody I spoke to is doing it. Uh, girls, just listen up a minute. Is there anybody else who wants to do this overtime and the name's not on list? No. Right. That is a convertible, right? Great, thanks. Bye. Mr Baldwin, could I have a word, please, about the overtime? The organ grinder is going on holiday. Speak to my monkey. He's in charge. What's going on? You're the slowest worker. Oh, get lost! How do you work that out? Well, it's quite simple, really. I count the number of garments each seamstress does in a week. It's a fix, is this? He's got it in for me, him. This is victimisation. I'm not having it. All right, that is enough. You don't come in here shouting the odds, and no one in their right mind will victimise a bruiser like you. Now get back to work, all right? Les, what was it like in prison? Dark days, mate. Dark days. I don't really want to talk about it. But one thing's for sure, I'm never going back. I'd sooner die. It's not that bad, is it? Of course it is. That's why they reserve it for criminals. Or innocent men, in my case. Did you meet any robbers? Oh, why? You robbers the king in prison. Really? Yeah, it's a proper job, like a bank. Not some idiot that snatched a charity box or something. That's different. They're treated with the contempt they deserve. Did you meet anyone like me in there? Why, you? Do me a favour. You're a good lad. But you couldn't cut it. They'd eat you for breakfast. No, I'm wrong there. They'd have you before breakfast as a light snack. Yeah, I could see you were both ready for another one. Oh, cheers, Mum. Yeah, thanks. What's up with her? I mean, she's buying me a drink and smiling at me. It's kind of creeping me out. There's nothing wrong with her. She's just pleased we're going out, that's all. <laughs> One minute, right, your mum is happy that we're together? Yeah, that's what I said, innit? I don't fancy him. Oh, some of the best dates in my life have been with fellas I didn't fancy. Really? Well, no, but you've got to get back in the saddle again. And Eric's a nice, safe bet. He may not be what you'd choose, but he's no threat. Give him a ring. Yeah, I can't stand her either. Why don't you just make a life, Elle? Because it's not about that, it's about getting rid of them. Oh, can you do that? I don't know yet. Right, my taxi's here, I'm off to get a bit of sun. Right, have a good time, don't worry about anything. I don't intend to. Do you want me to call you when you're in Spain? Not in this effect, it burns down, and even then I think twice. Right. <laughs> but that leaves me in a kind of difficult position. How? Well, the girls know I haven't got any real authority, I'm not really in charge. So I'm giving you the authority, you're in charge. So if this be, I could say, sack someone. You are in charge. See ya. See ya. Come on, quick. Swell that down. This is a two-pint dinner. He's watching. Who? So what? Looks like he's stuck with her. No, he just said he didn't want any comebacks. I've got to get rid of her properly, that's all. Yeah, but how are you going to do that? Well, look, two written warnings for misconduct or an instantly sackable offence, like... Being off her face at work. Oh, Nick, come on, she's only having a couple of pints. Yeah, but I think she'll be having a few more than that. It's the last day, after all. <laughs> On your own. What's it look like? Look, I know you're annoyed with me. I saw you this morning when I was saying bye to Kirk. I felt a bit tight. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be like that. We can still be friends, can't we? He's sent you, hasn't he? Worried you'll be lonely when he's in the nick. And who's in the nick? You haven't told you? 
Who hasn't told me what? So, you missed Kurt's little TV performance. What are you talking about? On the crime slot. Doing what? Nicking your engagement ring from a jeweler's on the precinct. Uh, you are joking? <laughs> no. How else would he afford it? He's always skin. Well, was it definitely him? Of course it was. And I'll tell you something else as well. I'm going to grass him up. So what? Well, why don't we go up there and keep her company? <laughs> Look, I don't want to keep her company. I get enough of that at home. Jason, get up. Come on. Um, hi, Lane. Oh, what's dragged you two off your backsides? We saw you as on your own. Story of my life, love. Well, I just thought we'd keep you company. Yeah, so it was a sort of charity visit, Mum. Oh, thanks, Jason. I feel like spring's come early. So you're here. You haven't rang the police, have you? Not yet, but I'm going to. Don't. Why not? Because you will know that you have grassed him up and you will regret it the rest of your life. No, I won't. Yes, you will. Look, son, I'm, I'm sorry, I know you're angry, but there's nothing we can do about it because Fizz chose Kirk and you got the elbow. Again? Look, son, you're a nice lad. And one day, I'm telling you, honest, you will meet your very own Vera. You reckon? Yes. You've got to enjoy yourself before it all goes belly up. I do enjoy myself. You can't enjoy yourself without your mates, like Kirk. All right, I won't grass him up. Good lad. Can I punch him instead? Hey, Fizz. Kirk turns flaming over the Ooh, quickly, ladies. Work harder. Bosses are worn hat. He, they'll never fit you. Look at this scene. Go that straight. If you're gonna start looking that closely, you'll find something wrong with all of them. Looks like you were drunk when you did this. Just chuck it in seconds, Ben, if you don't like it. it smells like you're drunk as well. I've had one pint, just like everybody else does. I'm sure, that's all it was. Janice, if you've got a drink problem, maybe you should tell me about it. Oh, get stuffed. And that's your reason for response, is it? Yes. Order. Calling me a drunk. <laughs> you are, but he's got no right to. Harry, did you hear that? Well, I think you've had it coming. You've caused him nothing but trouble since he got here, so you've only yourself to blame. Oh, siding with him? You're only one of us when it suits you, are you? I object to that. Yeah, well, I don't care. Now get lost. Go on, put yourself back in his pocket, you flaming crawler. Have you done it yet? No. Well, what have you got to lose? Ring him. Will you stop going on about it. Not to leave you ring him. You're not listening in. Just watch me drink. Oh. Hello, dear. Can we sit down now? No, I'm enjoying myself. She's all right, lad. Who? My mum? Jason, she's really nice. It's a shame she's on her own. I live with her. No, not you, you idiot. I mean blokes. She's done blokes. She only ever goes for dead beats or losers. Well, and thieves. Well, picking them herself. I mean, she should get someone else to choose for her. Well, well, he's uh, very keen. He's quite flattered, actually. Oh, I told you. And are you going out? Tonight. Tonight? Well, I told you he was very keen. Oh, I hope I haven't made a mistake. He's not my type at all. Uh, it's time to change your type. Your type's rubbish. Yeah, well, that's true. And keep an open mind. You never know what might happen. It's not personal. I just can't get enough of that lacy feel. Nearly everything you've done today is scrap, Janice. What do you expect? Hanging over me, watching everything I do. You're doing me head in. What's this? Tea not strong enough for you or something? That's not mine. Then what's it doing in your bag? It's not mine! Will you come to the office, please? Now! <laughs> Who's it? Not mine. It's not mine. He stitched me up. He's planted that. What's 
shut the door, please. It's you, isn't it? I knew you had it in for me. I'd explain this, then. I left my bag in here at lunchtime, and you slipped it in. That's how I explain it. That's ridiculous. It's the only explanation. No, there's not. Your work is substandard, Janice. I ask if you've been drinking and you say you haven't, but you clearly smell of alcohol. Then I see inside your open bag and it's a half-finished bottle of vodka there. You're drunk at work. <laughs> I don't believe this. If you check your contract, to see that's gross misconduct. I'm sorry, but you leave me no choice. You're dismissed. You're firing me over this? With immediate effect. I can't stand it. Have you decided what you're going to do yet? I have, yeah. I'm really sorry. I feel a bit ashamed of myself. So you should be, you flaming grass. Kurt, that's not to do with me. I never said out. I don't see why I have to be here. So you can see how it's done. What do you want? Is Les in? What's it to you? Is he in or not? What's up with him? Why is he rolling his eyes? Norris, stop that. She can't accuse you of sexual harassment with me here. Oh, no, no, I suppose not. False accusations seem to be your speciality, don't they? We'll let the courts decide that. What's going on? Les, you owe me £25 arrears. Don't pay her. Why not? We're boycotting them, aren't we? Oh, yeah, right. Go on! Clear off. Oh, so you're boycotting us. Did you hear that, Norris? Uh, yes, I did. And a very good job you're making of it, too. And then again, we'd have them papers before the boycott. And I always pay me debts, me. There you go, Rita. Thank you, Les. I think perhaps you should explain to Chesney what a boycott is, cos he was in the shop this morning buying that very paper. You rotten, cheating swine. Uh, Fizz, it's me. As soon as you can, come and find me. I'll be in the alley behind Les's. Come quickly, darling. It's an emergency. Yeah, but that bottle went out to do with you. We've got to fight this. Oh, come on. You were all having a laugh saying how I were a drunk yourself. Yeah, but, Janice, that was just mates having a laugh. We've got a strike. Look, I don't think that'll be necessary. Stay here, I'll have a word. And why should I listen to you? I'm a crawler, aren't I? Wait. Too late for special pleading, Harry. I'm doing the paperwork. I think you're making a mistake. I'm sorry, didn't you hear me? I said it's too late. I spend a lot of time out there with them girls. I think I can judge their mood better even than you sometimes. And what is their mood? Ugly. They think you waited for Mr Baldwin to go away so you could sack her. They also think that you nipped back here early after dinner and planted that bottle in Janice's bag. Well, that's nonsense. Yeah, I know, but uh, there is a rumour that... Uh, they were a witness. <laughs> How could there have been a witness? All the girls were... All the girls were... Like I say, it's only a rumour, but is it worth it? Janice has got grounds for an industrial tribunal, and them girls out there, well, they'll walk out. It's not a good thing to happen on your first day in charge. Or you could reinstate Janice. Oh, it's gone straight to answer form without ringing. Here we go. What do you reckon? It was Kirk. He sounds terrible. No, Janice. Very reluctantly, I'll give you one last chance. But you're on a warning. No way. I'm not coming back. Not till I get an apology. If I could just step in again. Look, there have been faults on both sides, so perhaps if we could just shake hands and agree to get on in the future, that's for the best, isn't it? Marvellous. She's back. Yay! She thinks so and all. Oh, thanks to Harry the hero. I played a minor role. Oh, don't talk rubbish. Come here, you hunk. Oh, that's more like it. Do I look all right? All right. I didn't realise how bad my eyes were. You walk through that door, you've cured them. <laughs> Thanks, Jack, you big liar. Uh, who is the lucky fella? Oh, I'll only go for a pizza or something. It's um, Eric Garside. From the Drayman. He's coming, is he? Yeah. What's the matter? 
Good evening. Harry, you look like a different bloke. Thank you. And you? You, you look stunning. Yeah. Is that Jack Duck with our spy hard in there? Eric, lad, didn't see you. Yeah, how convenient, eh? If I remember correctly, four years ago. Yes, I thought you'd remember that, yeah. Yeah, I'm like the rain man when it comes to money, Jack, you know me. Um, should we go? Oh, not so fast. Have a drink here first, on me. Mum, she's embarrassing me, not mums alike. <laughs> They're very underrated, in my opinion. Although I can't believe you're Shelley's mother, you look far too young. Oh, thank you. You can't be looking close enough. <laughs> oh, you're right, the neck. I can see the neck now, that's the giveaway. Hi. No, Ta, but it's not my cup of tea. Um, I work with her every day. I've developed an allergic reaction. I get a rash all day. Somewhere me. else? Uh, no, no. Sh should we go then? Your carriage awaits, madam. Right. Well, I I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Message. Yeah, I'm here, aren't I? I've got a confession to make. You nicked me ring. How do you know? Tyrone. He's crashed me up. No. The police came looking for me. I can't do it, Fizz. I can't go to prison. I'm too pretty. I won't last five minutes. Well, what are you going to do? I've thought about it and I'm going to leg it. Where? Spain. That's where all the criminals go. Not anymore, Kirk. You don't even speak Spanish. I can get by. I've got to. I love you, Fizz, but I can't stay. I don't want you to go. I'll come back for you. I've got some hard living to do first. Hasta la vista, darling. 